pretty fun week this week. Me and the boys are down in Utah hunting elk with Western Lands. Uh, this is the spot they call Jackpot, I guess. Uh, they shoot a couple pretty good bulls down here. Trav had a last minute chance for me to come down. The coyote. Anyways, we've been up here on this ridge, moving back and forth, checking out a couple good bulls over there. We're just gonna check on this other side and see if everything's bedded down. We're back out on the hillside this afternoon. We uh, saw a pretty good bunch of elk move this morning and uh, just kind of learning the area here for me anyways. Jake's got this thing pegged out, so he's got to educate us. But we're hunting a really, really small corner of Utah. Like literally, it's a mile to Nevada and it's a mile to Idaho. I, we can even see like where the fences come together and the monuments there. But uh, uh, the trick is just sitting and being patient and waiting for the right elk to push through here, set up and get a shot. So if we can hold still and luck helps us out, I think we'll have some success. We're here just sitting on the top this morning. A little bit dark, the elk have moved off a little bit early. Got a good sign though. There is a few cows that have kind of come onto our side of the mountain. And so we're hoping some of them pop out. We're just gonna keep glassing. short maybe. The one bull that was herding up with these cows was, uh, he's probably like last day big, but not quite second day big. So we're gonna, we're passed on him, but uh, we had a pretty cool shot, no wind. A 1420 was the range, I think that uh, beats Danner's record by 40 yards, that would have been something. But uh, pretty good spot up on top of the knob. We got shots from 700 uh, as far as the range finder gives us ballistics. So it'll be good. Come back this afternoon. Day two. 
two afternoon hunt. We're just gonna come over the backside and see if we can't glass up a good bull. We got one more day left, so hopefully we can find something big. Set up, start glassing. Uh, the boys went out this afternoon, smoked a couple coyotes. They went and put a stand up on top of a hay bale and killed a coyote at 500 and then one at 700 yards. That was pretty cool. I looked over. I thought it was a deer, but we just seen an, a coyote over there. He's 400 yards away, I think. We're going to go try and smoke him on camera. Seven point two. Okay, bud. Stoned him. Four hundred eighty yards. There's another. I'm thinking it's not gonna be good this afternoon. What's gonna happen is about, you know, six, 6.30 when it's time to really be seeing some elk. The sun's gonna be right in our face. It's gonna be a challenge. This is pretty cool. So that bull that we've been watching, Captain Hook, who last night we renamed as Death Wish, is still doing everything he can to get shot. We've got JJ's dad over here with a tag and he's set up, he's gotta be 500 yards. And this bull's hanging down low late. He's got a couple cows, but there's he doesn't wanna get them mixed in with this other herd, so he's hanging low. And JJ's dad's set up, and we're just, he's 89 years old. He's never killed a bull elk before. We're just crossing our fingers that he makes this happen. Okay, do it. I think I'll try. Okay, go ahead. You ready? Yep. You dropped him, Dad? You yeah. dropped him. <laughs> dropped him. You just dropped him. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 89 years old, never killed a bull elk before, and he just put that one down hard. I am so excited. Dude, it was so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Good shooting. Yeah, we were luck dying. Is good. Luck is shot. Hey, luck works. You were shooting a gun works, how could it be luck? Yeah. <laughs> Three generations right here in yeah, this range. Yeah. yeah, pretty cool, huh? Nice. Say so it was 650, you think? 625. On the ground. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got a little seven on that other side. <laughs> what do you think, boy? <laughs> Man, what a bull. He's, he's good. Oh, he's gonna make some pictures too, huh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. I think it's real though. I think it's real. Yeah, yeah, it's real. Yeah. Derek, let me move my saddle. I've killed two cows and one bull now. <laughs> I feel I killed two cows in 1955. Oh, well, plus me. Yeah. Oh, 1955. Well, he's not that big when I shot him. No, he wasn't. <laughs> no. He got a little bigger on the ground. How do we look? Are we looking good? Jake? You're looking like, fantastic. From one to ten, like like eleven, <laughs> eleven plus. 
Oh, I well, that, know that's that. a good score, that's eleven. A... Yeah. We're back at the at the jackpot spot with Western Lands, and uh, they've killed some big bulls over here. We really, really want to, you know, kind of keep our finger away from the trigger until we see a big one. But I, I got a great herd of elk down here, one big old herd bull, and a bunch of uh, satellite bulls. So we're gonna keep watching, see what we look like. I just saw him scratch his tail with his end of his main beam, so I think we're gonna set up to shoot this guy. Eight fifty six, seventeen three, three and a half for a ten. Ready? On the shoulder. Then we'll hit again. Look at that. <laughs> Watching the scope. I seen that bullet go through him and that he just took a breath. Oof, and a big old puff of steam just went out that exit hole. I went ahead and put one more in there just because he was he was moving out of the easy spot for recovery, so it's pretty good. Well, that's our bull from last time. He moved on over. He was 365 according to Jake last time. We'll see when we get over there. I, Garrett and I are both kind of of the mindset that you just don't know how big an elk is until you get over and put your hands on him. Yeah, broke his thirds off. Smells like a good bull. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Look at those seconds. Yeah, I broke both of them off. Mm -hmm. Look at look at these scars on there. Just been fighting hard. So there's that shot, knocked that wind out of him. So he was quartering pretty hard. I'll bet the in, I bet the in shot's kind of right on the point of the shoulder. Just quartered through him like that. But look at this. Look at the scars up here. I mean, he is hammering. You know, the scopes sitting on that knob. Did it to us last week too. It's like you sit there for a while. Exposed and then all the optics and stuff are just frosted over. Well, pretty cool hunt. I, you know, you don't get the timeline in these shows, but we were out here two weeks ago and uh, 10 days, something like that. We hunted for a couple days and then all the guys had to take off to work, so we, we went home. But uh, I just went down and, and met up with Garrett yesterday. Yesterday, Garrett and I were in Pinedale or Big Piney, Wyoming. Garrett drew a moose tag. He's, he's a really respectable bull. You need to come back and put a bullet in him. <laughs> We could have 
spent a bunch of time behind the scope judging. So, uh, looks like the moose are in full rut right now. So they are covering country. Uh, Mark's seeing new bulls every day. So it should be exciting. There are moose everywhere this morning. This weather's got them, got them moving. Hey, Garrett, he's down in that willow line. Nice, Moving nice. To the um, left. He's rounded, okay. older bull as far as point wise. Um, he's, um, his paddles, um, his palms are, are narrow, but, he, but he's, he's a pretty respectable bull for this unit. Well, we were just getting ready to pack up and head up the river here, check out another spot in Kara spot another bull out here in the corner these things are popping up everywhere and uh, you can tell you don't have to know a guy very long to tell when he gets excited about the animal he's looking at they all have that instinct and anyway he got that glow to him uh, so we're uh, we're gonna look at him pretty hard through the spotting scope we don't have bulls like the snowy range um, but he, he's a he's a sure nice bull for this unit what's he missing is he missing anything he's missing width and he's missing um, as far as his um, palms being a lot wider and thicker, they're okay. they're they're a little bit narrow, but um, but still, he's, for this for this unit, he's he's a really respectable bull. Yeah, but this bull we're spotting is he's a good looking bull. He's not quite as far as a rifle shot as we'd like to take. So we're gonna get our hands on the muzzleloader, and uh, I think we're gonna tip him over at the muzzleloader if he cooperates. So muzzleloader shot. He's getting close enough, we might see the muzzle. 95 grains of black horn. What's the deal? I saw it right in there. Oh yeah. Nice dude. I can shake it. Muzzle loader elk we or muzzle loader moose. We switched gears and grabbed the smoke pole. Wasn't the longest shot. But just under just about 300 Ooh. yards. Ooh, he gave us a broadside shot. We got two. You can put some face paint on. Full foundation. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, buddy. Wow. These things are huge. Wow, look at that. So this is my first moose hunt. Never been to Alaska, never even helped anybody back home. They are massive. That was, that I know what you guys were hoping to, to skip work for a couple days a couple and, days. and <laughs> chase moose. Kara, thank you very much. You're so welcome. Thank you very much. This is so great. Thank you, gosh. You look for, you know, long, long um, palms and then um, and length and Tim and Bill <laughs> that really helped me much yeah thanks guys for the uh, all summer these cell phone pics trickling in with bulls and 
kind of keeping me excited for this hunt. So I know why they say once in a lifetime hunt. This is pretty cool. They have a noggin on them. Awesome. These points are cool. 